episode two of the fastest hook competition. Um, we're going to see which of these two hooks are faster. This is a hook nook hook. It's a G. It's really hard to tell that, but you can see it. Or sorry, I think it's an H. It's really hard to tell. It is a H8. Um, you can almost see it on the neck there. You can actually see it better on my camera than you can in real life. So, um, there you go. This is a Furl's, I believe Furl's Odyssey. I'm gonna double check again, because I have a two Furl's. One I believe is a Streamline, this I believe is the Odyssey. Um, and it's pretty heavy. These are actually both fairly heavy um, compared to my other hooks. But you can see they have similar shapes put them sideways they're going to roll off the desk if I'm not careful uh, but you can see they have similar shapes the hook nook hook is a lot longer uh, the neck of it is about the same the top part here is about the same uh, but once you get to this section this is a lot longer and you really have to grip down here with my grip type to be comfortable so it leaves me a very far away from my yarn which here I can grip a lot closer I'm closer to my yarn We'll see how that affects things today. I really have no idea. Um, I don't generally compare back-to-back -back projects uh, and I don't generally do the same project with the same hook. So uh, we're gonna see how this goes today. So I'm gonna set this, um, I'm actually do the, yeah, I'm gonna do the furls first. Why not? We'll do them in alphabetical order today. Furls and then hook nook. So as I have done before, I have my starting round of my granny square. I've got up here, I've got my laptop with my timer. I'm going to start the, top of the stopwatch in just a second, and then I'll start crocheting, and then I'll hit the stop when I hit this uh, third round. So I'm gonna do two increased rounds here. So the third round of the granny square, when I hit that, I'm gonna hit the stop on the stopwatch, and then we will see how long it took. I'm gonna do my best to keep this where you can see it. I think this is a G. It might be an H. I have to find my gauge, my needle, uh, needle and hook gauge. Um, I've moved recently. I say recently, it was six months ago, but not everything has come out of my um, boxes yet. And I'm really not sure where my needle gauge went. It's in a container with other needles and hooks. And this is you know, I'm gonna stop it. I'm gonna start over again because this is not going well for this hook. And I think it's because uh, where my yarn is sitting. So I'm gonna give this hook its best chance and make sure that my yarn is, and that my yarn is closer to where I am, or my skin is closer to where I am, so that it has all the chances that it can to do as well, that I have the best chance to do as well with this as I can. I would hate to not give it its fair shake. So let's try that again. And as I have done before, I did do a quick warm up round, uh, 10 minutes on another project. I always like to warm up before I start something like this so that this is not my first time out because you're never fastest first thing. Just like running, you want to get a little walk in before you do. A marathon you want to get those muscles warmed up and kind of wake up uh, all the muscles get all the blood flowing all those other things that people say when they work out also apply here I also want to make sure we have good posture when we're doing this um, especially if I'm trying to be speedy uh, if I try to rush and I don't have good posture it's actually just gonna add stress to my actions it's gonna keep my muscles from doing their absolute best This is definitely not, I don't feel like this is going as fast as it did last week, or last time, last episode, whenever that was, because time has no meaning anymore. But I could be wrong, Maybe I'm just going by how I feel, and it could just feel slower today, because uh, whenever you're watching this today, when I'm recording this, it's Friday, and I feel like today has taken forever. Oh, 
Now I have not found this hook to be terribly splitty. Um, I did see that in some of the furls group, uh, the furls group I'm on, on Facebook. I have heard people say that they found the Odyssey to be splitty, but not the Streamline. And of course, people think the other way as well. As I mentioned last time, splitty has some to do with the yarn and some to do with the hook. Um, it may also have something to do with your hold. I've never tried any other hold other than with a knife hold that I have here. Uh, and I'm just going to keep talking because um, silence I find uncomfortable uh, when I'm making a video. I don't know why. It just makes me feel weird to uh, sit here crocheting on a video without saying a word. Be a little bit like Bob Ross painting and just chatting away. Two minutes and 27 seconds. I'll have to double check last week's, uh, last time's video, episode one, but I think this is our second fastest square so far. So now that we have done that, I'm gonna pull this back out and I am going to bring over our hook nook hook. Again, I'm not gonna let go because it'll just roll right off my desk. Uh, so we're gonna bring this back. You can see my little nest here of yarn. And I'm gonna reset my timer and start it again. I feel like I have to work a lot harder with this one. This may be due to my hand size. I am not a tall person. Um, and I do have smaller than average hands. I wear a child's large glove or a small adult's glove. Uh, so it may be all to do with my hand size. These are supposed to be geared towards knife grip people. Oh my. Um, to slow down a little bit to make sure I'm catching the yarn. Uh, there is just something a little uncomfortable about how this particular style of hook, the hook nook does have the straight hooks, mostly in the larger sizes. Uh, I haven't seen actually any in the smaller sizes, all their smaller sizes, GH, um, I don't, K, I think they have uh, H, I, J, K in the regular, in these the style hooks and then the larger ones are more of the inline flat. Not really so much flat, but you know what I mean. Tubes. Uh, the other thing that I'm finding, I'm having to hold this a little higher because if I don't, it because of where I have to hold it on the neck, the little neck roll part there, it scrapes on the desk if um, I hold it any lower, so if this seems like I'm holding it right up in your face, it's because I am. Uh, so that the end of the hook doesn't rub on the desk as I'm going. Uh, and as I've mentioned before, <laughs> splittiness sometimes has something to do with your hook, and I'm finding this is really I won't say fully splitty, but it catches on my yarn a lot. Um, you may also hear the sound. I'll stop talking for a moment while I crochet and you can hear the sound. It's 42 seconds for those two rounds. Um, yeah, it's not my favorite hook, I'm gonna say right now. I've used it for a couple projects. Um, I have used a lot, some of her larger hooks on other large scale projects, and I didn't hate them. I think they're just a little long for, for my hands. I mean, you can see how big that is in my hand. 
it's just so lot much larger than than my hand is. I find it really uncomfortable. I don't know if those of you who pencil grip, if this is more comfortable because you can kind of stay far back or close up with that and still have that kind of rest on your hand. I, I don't know how to pencil grip crochet. I've never tried it. Um, but this, this is not comfortable for me the way the other things are. Maybe if you find that you're crocheting too fast and getting ahead of yourself and you need something to force you to slow down, this might be useful. I have seen that also in the furls discussions where people say the weight of it, like this is, this is a heavier hook than this. So this is a much heavier hook, which I think if I was going to do marathons of crochet, which I often do in the car uh, and even watching like a movie, I'll crochet for the entire movie or maybe two movies if it's a Saturday. Um, it might be a bit much, but if I had a really heavy yarn, it might be nice to have that kind of counterweight. Um, this is just, it's just not, the numbers don't lie. It doesn't work as well for me speed wise. Um, and that kind of, I'm going to go with squeaky noise that I don't, I'm not sure how well that comes across. I'll have to see when I finish the video. Um, I don't know if you heard that, but that squeaky noise was a bit frustrating for me. Uh, I'm not sure I would want to sit on the couch and listen to that for an hour. Uh, and I do have other plastic hooks, so we will be looking at other, or maybe acrylic, I'm not entirely sure what this is made of, but I do have other hooks like that, I know of that kind of material and I don't find them squeaky. Uh, so this was a little frustrating for me. With that, I appreciate your time. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope your week is calm and productive.